What is up guys? Another day here in paradise. It is Friday and I'm excited because my new friends Tina and Emil have invited me to go and be part of some kind of a photo shoot at a villa. When, when someone invites you to go do something, you're not really doing anything else. You should just say yes and I guess I'll see what they mean, what this is all about when I get there. I guess we're here. Well, this is fancy. <laughs> wow, all right. Let's check this place out. What, what is this place? I don't know, but my friends are staying here for the weekend and I'm here now. <laughs> I'm literally walking around this place opening every single door. This is an award-winning villa that my friends are staying in for the weekend. It has so many floors. I feel, I feel just like curious. They said I can open whatever I want, so I'm gonna open whatever I want. There's literally a river. You have to see this, there's a river flowing behind this property. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, the river house. Now I, now I get it. I totally get it now. This is like an aha moment here. Yeah, I have to say this place is probably the coolest place I've seen here on the island so far by a long shot. And I've seen quite a few places, so that's good. <laughs> wow, okay, let's check out the roof. A sliding glass situation. Super freaking nice. Pretty amazing being up here. What the heck? You've got rice fields, you've got jungles surrounding you. Pretty cool. Maybe I can stay. Maybe if I ask nice enough, I too can live here. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so it's like three o'clock in the morning. Everybody had a really great night, but apparently there is still a curfew here in Bali that I totally forgot about. So you can't actually leave after 9 p.m. and be on the road. Good thing this place has so many bedrooms because we're all actually unintentionally crashing here tonight. A few moments later. Good morning. What am I still doing here? This place is super nice, but I had no idea that I would be spending the night here. I ended up in a little twin bed room. Basically, there is a curfew here still. In Bali and if you're not if you're not off the streets by about 9 p.m. it just gets very difficult to move around so we've realized we should stay here which is not a bad thing at all. These beds are super comfortable even though I didn't really get much sleep I'm still super tired it's like 8 a.m. went to bed around 3 we're just hanging out having some good talks now I'm um, gonna look at what this this place looks like in the daytime I guess. day now. This is like a fun little random thing. I feel like I'm doing like a crazy walk away because we ended up stuck here last night but this is definitely not a bad place to be stuck. It is still really empty here. Bali feels still pretty much like semi ghost town. Another fresh haircut from Eddie here. Just passing by, I figured I'd grab a haircut. All right, we're back here at home, but not for long. <laughs> I literally, as soon as I got home, get a text uh, from my friends, Tina and Emil, and they're like, hey, I thought we texted you like hours ago. We're still hanging out. So I guess I'm going back to the river house. Why did I even leave? But I was able to take a shower and grab some clothes. And so I guess now, heading back.
Okay, I guess the gates to heaven have reopened. Definitely missed the sunset though. Damn.